My dear brothers and sisters, these two days of general conference have been glorious. I agree with Elder Holland as he mentioned the messages, the prayers, and the music that have all been inspired by the Lord. I am grateful to all who have participated in any way. Throughout the proceedings, I have pictured you in my mind listening to conference. I have asked the Lord to help me understand what you are feeling, worrying about, or trying to resolve. I have wondered what I might say to conclude this conference that would send you forth with the optimism about the future that I know the Lord wants you to feel. We live in a glorious age foreseen by prophets for centuries. This is the dispensation when no spiritual blessing will be withheld from the righteous. Despite the world's commotion, the Lord would have us look forward to the future with joyful anticipation. Let us not spin our wheels in the memories of yesterday. The gathering of Israel moves forward. The Lord Jesus Christ directs the affairs of his church, and it will achieve its divine objectives. The challenge for you and me is to make certain that each of us will achieve his or her divine potential. Today, we often hear about a new normal. If you really want to embrace a new normal, I invite you to turn your heart, mind, and soul increasingly to our Heavenly Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. Let that be your new normal. Embrace your new normal by repenting daily. Seek to be increasingly pure in thought, word, and deed. Minister to others. Keep an eternal perspective. Magnify your callings. And whatever your challenges, my dear brothers and sisters, leave each day, live each day, so that you are more prepared to meet your Maker. That is why we have temples. The Lord's ordinances and covenants prepare us for eternal life, the greatest of all of God's blessings. As you know, the COVID pandemic required a temporary closure of our temples. Then we commenced a carefully coordinated phased reopening. With phase two now in place in many temples, thousands of couples have been sealed and thousands have received their own endowments just in the past few months. We look forward to the day when all worthy members of the church can again serve their ancestors and worship in a holy temple. Now I am pleased to announce plans for the construction of six new temples to be built in the following locations. Tarawa Kiribati, Port Vila, Vanuatu, Linden, Utah, Greater Guatemala City, Guatemala, Sao Paulo East, Brazil, and Santa Cruz, Bolivia. As we build and maintain these temples, we pray that each of you will build and maintain yourself so you can be worthy to enter the Holy Temple. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, I bless you to be filled with the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ. His peace is beyond all mortal understanding. I bless you with an increased desire and ability to obey the laws of God. I promise that as you do, you will be showered with blessings, including greater courage, increased personal revelation, sweeter harmony in your homes, and joy, even amid uncertainty. May we go forward together to fulfill our divine mandate that of preparing ourselves and the world for the second coming of the Lord. 
I so pray with my expression of love for you. In the sacred name of Jesus Christ, amen.